Okay, uh, you're going to notice in this video that uh, part of this is today and part of this is yesterday. I filmed this yesterday um, and almost everything I talked about here was off screen. So I'm really trying to make my videos more interesting and I understand I'm very monotone in, in them and not entertaining. So those of you that stick it out, I appreciate that. Uh, but I'm trying to do what I can to make these videos a lot better because I really am trying to get to that minimum uh, of 1,000 subscribers that YouTube uh, wants you to have before you can monetize your videos and all that other kind of stuff because while I haven't made a lot of money off these YouTube videos and that's not why I make them, uh, I, I do it more to get the, the, I guess, the brand name out there to support the Etsy store, which is virtually depleted of inventory and I haven't been restocking it, so I guess it's kind of counterintuitive at this point. But I'm trying to make the videos more entertaining or informative uh, at a minimum. Money or not, you know, if, the more likes I get, the happier I am with that. So one of the things I bought, two of the things I bought, actually, you can see here, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the shot. This is my new Zoom H4n Pro microphone, which we'll talk about next or yesterday, depending on how you want to look at it. And the other thing I got was this gimbal, this camera gimbal from, I don't have that, you know, Zoom, Zoom, I don't know. I'm not a Chinese linguist. You need to speak Arabic. I used to be able to help you with that. I can't anymore. So I got this. There's a variety of camera gimbals out there. The DJI, uh, I forgot the name of it, is made by DJI. Cost twice as much as this. This one's only $100. The other one's twice as much, but this one actually had better re reviews when it came to the Galaxy S8 Plus, which is what I'm using here. This is in the OtterBox. Yesterday it was out of the OtterBox. In the OtterBox, it is way too heavy for this gimbal. Uh, outside of the auto box, it's pretty much the limit of what it can handle, but it does handle it. And the video tests we'll, we'll use here later in the video are from this using the June app, um, which I'm not too pleased with. I don't like the video quality of it. I think the native camera app that's in the phone takes better quality, but there's going to be some features that this app has primarily tracking. Uh, and the fact that I can interact with it, I can, I can trigger a uh, start, stop, and record from this button. Whereas the uh, regular app won't interface with it that I know of. Um, but one of the things that and I'll show you here is I can... Actually, I might end up doing it again. I'm just going to do it again. I'm going to show you from scratch because I'm not happy with yesterday's video. So we'll get to that, okay? Bottom line is... Um, it can hold the camera and it can also hold a GoPro. So I have a session, for, uh, GoPro 4 session, Hero 4 session. There we go. It's a GoPro Hero 4 session. I got to read the actual container. That's what you're watching me on. This is a Hero 5. This is not mine. This belongs to my work. Okay. Um, but I was testing this at work the other morning. What it's in <clears throat> is a, exactly what it says. It's the adapter for the GoPro. It's got a counterweight on there. And it helps hold the GoPro. This one here I bought as a kit. They came together in the box. It just slides in there like that. And basically falls to rest. Okay. And then we power it up. And it wakes up. Okay. And where I turn the handle, it aims. I can pan or tilt. Sorry, it's tilt. I can tilt up. I can tilt down, um, and the default mode left and right doesn't work. It's just twisting the uh, knob. This thing completely stopped working for the camera. So we're going to try this one more time. Let's set the counterweight for the S5, which or the S8. I don't need it there. This slides over left and right depending on the size of the camera and how offset it is. Oh, maybe it doesn't belong over there. All right, so I'm going to try this with it turned off. I'm going to explain it with it turned off. Okay, power mode, uh, and then this is zoom for the camera app. Which, it also with the camera app, if I hold that, it'll switch to the, um, like the selfie camera. And if I switch, uh, hold it the other way, it'll switch back. 
And if I do it right, it should switch from camera to video. I gotta read the instructions. I'm a terrible salesperson at this. So let's turn it on. Okay, so let's try explaining this again. As you can see, this is in the field of view of the camera. So what you would need to do with a GoPro is in the mount, flip it over so it's facing essentially you. Let's do that. Oop, let's turn that off. Entertaining video, I know. Okay, let's start it back up. Okay, now you see the camera looking at you, which is not what we want. So, mode button. Um, the default setting is tilt. Push it once, and it's tilt and pan. But if we hit it three times, well, let's go once back to the original one. We hit it three times, it's going to automatically flip it all the way around. So, let's see what it looks like. You can see what I'm doing here. Okay. And then from this uh, rotated position, if I hit it once, I can then adjust the pan also, which is a lot quicker with the lighter weight of the GoPro versus my S8. The only thing is I gotta manually start and stop it. All right, I'm gonna turn that off now. An alternative method for mounting the GoPro that I saw on YouTube yesterday was simply taking this without this putting it in here with um, a bottle cap, just a bottle cap. So with this wood shop, basically I'm gonna just make a handy mount and I should be able to put my session in there as well. So that's this, I'm gonna demonstrate this a little bit later. We're gonna talk about the microphone next. And then the other feature I got is, uh, it's actually part of a kit. So it came with uh, the windsock and the remote and the SD card an external condenser microphone recorder so I can record better audio. Because after my last video, the one I'm working on right now, the uh, turbo plane video, I realized just how bad my audio has been this entire time. And I was able to fix it in there, but I've known for a while I needed something like this. But I finally got one, so it's just a matter of me getting this dialed in. Yeah, it, it takes a while to boot up. And this is actually a lot more complex than I thought it would be. Uh, at first, I was just looking at reviews versus price uh, and to do what I wanted it to do. And then after I bought it, I was watching a video actually this morning where a guy was talking about improving his audio. And this was the exact item he recommended. Now, I've got a condenser mic that can plug in there. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried anything with this yet, really. And I bought it from my old GoPros, but it just never worked. It, it, the, the audio coming out of it was extremely quiet, and there was no way to boost it up enough to be usable. It also has uh, jacks, plugs and jacks for audio. It's got jacks for quarter-inch plugs and XLR, which I've got, I don't know, eight or more actual like studio microphones for guitars and drums and stuff like that that I could also plug into this. So I can record off the condenser side and that side simultaneously. This one here will disable these, so I can't use my external condenser with the internal simultaneously, but I can use my, I only have dynamic microphones. So I can use my external dynamic microphones in conjunction with this. And one of the cool things about it is it's also got a tripod mount, okay? So what I'm gonna do, while these are out here, I'm gonna find a quarter inch bolt, I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna try and butt these together so that I can carry it and talk and it'll be receiving me from this direction and I can shoot shop updates in a, a much better format. Or I can just, without that bolt, I can just mount this on a, uh, um, excuse me, completely lost my mind. I can put this on either a tripod by itself or uh, put a splitter on a regular tripod 
and have them side by side or have this GoPro or whatever I'm filming with at the time side by side. I keep not going online and trading in my old GoPros for a new one because you get a discount that way. So let's check out the difference, okay? that's When that starts blinking, we start uh, getting like preliminary audio. So we can dial up, we can dial up the audio until we get it to the volume we're looking for, um, which would be kind of hard because then once I turn on power tools, stuff like that, it's going to be jumping all over the place. But uh, fortunately, using Premiere Pro, it's pretty easy to fix that. So push it once again, stop blinking. Timer's running. Now we're actually recording. So let's see how the audio changes from my GoPro to this now, and we'll see in this video how it does. It, as part of the bundle, you see it's spiking like crazy right there. So It came with this windsock, so I'm gonna pause this. Or not, nope, I gotta stop it, there we go. Let's put this windsock on here. Not sure how tight that's supposed to be. Okay, and it's looking like we might need to turn it up a little bit. Well, I don't know, because I'm talking quite, I don't know what I'm doing here. Well, let's hit record and see what happens. So this, hear that, yep. So now I can record outside and I don't have to worry about the wind too much too. So that's a nice feature to have in here because every once in a while the wind picks up in here. I don't know if it's necessarily been a problem in videos, but it is when you go outside. The only thing I gotta worry about is usually when I'm outside is with a chainsaw or something, and this is just gonna get covered in dirt and debris. So and I'm pretty sure this is not a waterproof device. So I gotta figure out something, maybe just like zip tie a plastic bag over this portion of it, and then this part here I can try and air dry or something. I don't know. So let's play around and see what it sounds like. Well, I forgot to record the actual cutting, but that's the piece I need right there. Should be long enough, I'm just gonna file the edges a little bit. And of course I didn't bring a file over here with me. So let me go get one. All right, let's see what we can do. Alright, back to the GoPro audio. Let's put that in. I feel like I'm going to need some sort of rubber bushing in there. Um, which I've got a bunch of inner tube cuttings. Scrap. And that is way too long. Oh, you know what? That's perfect. Alright, so let's fire this up and see what happens. Okay. Now the problem I see here is my hand's going to be brushing on this. It's probably going to generate too much noise. Let's switch to the app and see what happens. No. Connect device. <clears throat> And let's see what happens here. Yeah, definitely picking up my hand on the meter. So that's probably not gonna work. But let's see what happens. So let's switch to this. Okay, that audio is working and recording. Okay, so you should be seeing the steady cam now. <clears throat> Let's see what the backyard has. Okay, there's some wood I have not gotten around to cutting up yet. The backyard's a mess, I know. I gotta throw this tarp away. As you can see, it's no longer protecting the wood underneath it. Power carved bowls. And the wood pile. Needs to be cleaned up as well. All those woods just out. 
But it's drying at least. Look at that. Look at all that. It came out of mesquite. I've never seen sap in mesquite before. Look at how much there is. I don't remember that being there the other day. Hmm. There's some on that too. Well, it seems to be working. I shouldn't need to run during any shop updates, but I guess I could. And I won't make you sore. I won't make you car sick when I run. I feel like using the lathe today. Fill that full of epoxy and see what comes out of it. I got some burls that have been in the back of the truck for a long time that I need to take out because they roll every time I make a turn. So today might be the day that I actually take them out, cut them in half and, and do something with them. But we'll find out, maybe it's not today. So there you have it. That is my shop update for today. That is the Zune June Smooth Q with a Samsung Galaxy S8 with the Zoom HN4 microphone. And hopefully this serves its purpose without getting anybody sick. And it stays smooth. I don't know. We'll see. Let's track an object for good measure. And I'm trying to hit the button while it's recording and it's not, I gotta stop. All right, now we are recording with motion tracking. And we are kind of following the object. It's not really following it too well. And it quit and it's doing what it did in the house. Okay, now it's back to tracking again. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I guess we'll figure it out. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I was serious when I said I'm going to give something away if we hit a thousand subscribers. So tell your friends. I'll see you next time.